What's going on guys? This is going to be a short video on how to connect the Oasis Trading Bot to Discord and set up live alerts in your Discord channels. Okay, let's get started. So first off, you go to create an alert either up here or on the side. Go to OTG Trading Bot. You can use any of the alerts that we've given you. Uh, the most common obviously would be buy and sell. So let's start with the buy. If you wanted to alert you as soon as the signal is being triggered, you want to do only once or once per bar. If you wanted to wait for the bar to close, you want to click once per bar close. So here is the tricky part. Not really tricky, but this is what people mess up on is the webhook URL. Make sure to set this as active and then we have to go create this webhook and copy and paste it here. So if we go to Discord, create a channel wherever you want the alerts to go, go to the edit channel button, Go to Integrations, Webhooks, Create a Webhook. So we can go ahead and create one now. Copy Webhook URL. Go back to TradingView and then paste that URL right here. Then you can name the alert whatever you would like. So this one will be OTG Bot Buy. And then for the message, I'm gonna make it easy for you guys. I'm gonna put what you need to type down in the description below. You guys can just go ahead and copy and paste that. If you want to make more advanced alerts, I'm not gonna have that in the video, but if you click on this icon right here, TradingView goes over basically everything you need to know to make a more advanced alert. For now, let's go to one that I already have made. Go ahead and copy this. And we're going to paste it right here. So what this alert is going to do is it's going to give you the ticker. So XPT USD. It's going to give you the interval. So right now we have it set on one minute. And then it's going to give you whatever the price is, either when it's triggered or when it's closed, depending on whichever option you chose. So for this option, it will be whenever that signal is triggering. Okay. Now, if you want to change this, you can change it, but do not change what is in the brackets, okay? If you want to change this part right here, you can. You can type whatever you want right here. So if you want to just type buy, you can just leave it at buy. But do not change what's in the brackets if you want it to properly send the alert, okay? So we can go ahead and create that. And then to show you some examples, this will be kind of what it looks like. It will give you the ticker, so XBT USD. It will give you the interval. So for the interval, it's gonna look a little weird. Anything less than, I think it's like a four hour, it will give you um, the number. So if it's a one minute, it's just gonna say one. If it's a 50 minutes, it's just gonna say 15. If it's a one hour, it's just gonna say 60. So it's not gonna say like one hour. It's gonna say whatever minutes it is. Um, for like weekly and daily, I believe it will say uh, capital D or capital W, um, but for the minutes, it will just give you the number. So don't be confused if you see that. And then it's going to give you whatever you typed out, and then it's going to give you the trigger price. So that's either going to be the close or the trigger, depending on whatever uh, you set it up as. Now, you can put as many tickers as you want under the same webhook. You don't have to make new webhooks for every single ticker. So for example, like if we wanted to go here and make an alert for uh, Ethereum, we could use that same webhook for Ethereum. We don't have to go and create a new one, okay? Now, if you want to separate these, like maybe you wanna have a channel for all the buys and then a channel for all the sells, that's when you would have to go grab that new webhook, okay? Because if it's a new channel, it needs a new webhook, all right? If you want to set up push notifications on your cell phone, you can hold down this uh, name of the channel. It will pull up a settings menu, and then you click edit, and then go to where it says notification settings. And from there, you can turn on uh, what kind of alerts you want to be notified to. Um, you can either have it send you all the messages, you can have only mentions, whatever you want to do. 
Um, if you set it to all messages, whenever the bot sends a message to that channel, it's going to um, send you the push notification as long as your phone settings are proper. So if you're not receiving push notifications, it's probably because in your actual phone settings, you are not allowing Discord to send you push notifications. Okay, so make sure you go into your phone settings, go to your notification settings, then go to Discord and make sure you're allowing uh, it to send you notifications. Okay. Once you've done all that, you should be good to go and it's going to send you alerts as soon as they happen in real time. If you guys have any questions, make sure to put it in the comments below. And remember, if you wanna just copy the alerts that I have, just go to the description below and you can copy and paste those. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you next time.